What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a Kanye West Bon Iver type vocal effect. We're going to go from this to this. Now Kanye said the human voice is the best, ideal, most greatest instrument ever. And there's no better way to use the human voice as the ultimate instrument than the Ovox Vocal Resynthesis plugin. You don't need an amazing voice to pull this off. I'm also leaving a link for you to download this preset for free so you can tweak it your way for your voice and your tracks. So let's not waste any more time. I'm going to take Ovox back to full reset where I have it inserted on a vocal track. In the top bar of Ovox, make sure the voice is set to track and synth is set to internal. With the note source, we're going to keep it on auto and that enables the MIDI to take over with the internal synth. To set this up, all you got to do is change the output on the MIDI track to the main vocal, just like that. Now back on Ovox on the vocal channel, you can bring up the internal synth control and see that the MIDI is getting through when I play it. The original vocal is still there. Just bring up the voice control. But to hear only the affected vocals, turn down the voice and synth and turn up the Ovox control. The voice on the audio track is acting as the modulator and Ovox's internal synth as the carrier. For this effect, we're blending the original vocal with the synthesized vocals. So let's start out by giving the original vocal that automatic tuning effect. I'm going to turn the Ovox control back down for now. All right, let's turn the original voice back up. All right, you can hear I'm not a singer by any means, but luckily for us, we're using pitch correction. So let's change Ovox's correction to hard. All right, we're going to go up here and turn the note mapper on. Now select the key of your track. In this case, it's C sharp minor. And then in the note map preset menu, go to the scales and select natural minor. All right, and now we get that robotic tuning effect. Check it out. <laughs> All right, now let's turn the Ovox control back up to bring in the synthesized vocals with the MIDI chords. And right there, we get a basic talk box style sound. So let's open up the extended view and put some more life into this. Now, each Ovox oscillator has an axis control. You use it to set the waveform shape. So just move the dial around until you hit a sound you like. So I'm going with a sawtooth shape. Now let's open up those harmonics. By increasing the harmonic content, we open up the spectrum for the vocals to shine through. Now on top of shaping the waveform, you get 12 character IR filters, and each one is going to give you a different sound. For this example, we're going to go with the classic. All right, now let's add a little noise. Not too much. Now, because the noise generator contains all the frequencies in the sound spectrum, turning it up just a touch will enhance the process of speech synthesis and give you better articulation. All right, so we're going to use Ovox 1 to generate the bass tones in this harmonizing effect. Ovox 2 is going to add an additional layer in just a minute. For now, let's turn the tune control down to minus 12. All right, let's thicken it up with the unison. You get up to four voices, but let's keep it at three, and then just a touch of detune. Right at about 25 is enough. Let's make it a little wider with the spread. About halfway at 50 is good. Now we're going to work the formant filter. Now this is going to help hone in on mimicking the human voice on the synth. Check it out. With the focus control over here, you set the frequency range where the format detector picks up the most detail. Now with the Q control, you set the width or the Q of the format filter. Now since everyone has a unique quality to their own voice, you can use the focus and Q to tailor the timbre or the formant quality to the specific tone of any voice. All right, 
Now, the speed adjusts the time it takes for the Foreman filter to change between one state to another. For this, we're going to keep the speed at about 3.5 just to keep the words intelligible. Now, the dynamic control sets how much of the amplitude level of the modulator, in this case the main vocals, will be sent to the carrier or the internal synth. Check it out. For this example, we'll leave the dynamic control on 100% so that it uses the original dynamics of the voice. We're going to keep the pan centered. We're already using unison and spread controls. We also have overall output control of the OVOX oscillator with the gain knob here. All right, so that's OVOX 1. Let's turn on OVOX 2. The same process we did on OVOX 1. This time, we're going to variate a little bit. With the axis, let's bring it right around the middle, and we're going to get a richer sound. All right, let's open up the harmonics. Right there at 300 is good. This time, let's take the waveform to TalkVox. All right, let's bring up a little noise. Now, this time with the tune, let's leave it at zero. Let's thicken it up a little by bringing the voices to two. All right, now a touch of detune, but not too much so that the sound gets too phasey. Right there at about 15 is good. All right, let's turn up the spread. Now let's put the human touch on it with the form and filter. Now you can see back on OVOX 1, I shifted the form and down, which created a deeper, more masculine tone. So on OVOX 2, I'm going to shift the form and up a little bit, giving this sound a more feminine quality. So combining OVOX 1 and 2 together and mixing that with the main vocal is going to give us that choral effect. All right, now let's play this back with the drums. And while I do that, I'm going to use a few controls in the mixer section to do a little fine tuning. Check it out. Alright, so I was able to balance out the sound of the original voice in the OVOX effect. I also added a bit more clarity with the sibilance control, and then with the tone control, I adjusted the overall brightness. You know, but I still feel I can shape this out a little bit more, so let's adjust that with the EQ. Alright, so with the EQ, I brought up some of the low end just a bit. I gave it a low shelf and boosted around 125 hertz. I also brought up a little of the high mids at 2K. I added a little more presence at 320 hertz. And then I reduced some of the top end with a roll off at about 14K. Last thing we can do is just add a little more color with the built in effects. I already went ahead and added a little chorus on the cream setting, a little distortion, a nice bright reverb. And then I went with a basic delay synced to an eighth note. Now let's listen to the before and after with the effects. I'm going to use the effects knob here under the macros to turn all the effects off and then back on again. Check it out. All right, so you can hear the color of those added. And it was easy to pull these up. Just hit the plus button. Choose your effect. You can also rearrange the order of these any way that you want. Just like that. And each of these effects has a submenu with different types. You definitely want to experiment with these in your sounds. All right, so there's a little more color with the effects. Let's A-B the sound one last time so you can hear the final difference. Here's the before. And after. That's just one effect with OVOX. I left a link to download this preset free, but there are endless possibilities with OVOX. So if you're looking for new ways to mix vocals, or even if you want to completely resynthesize your voice, there's no limits with this plugin. So to learn more about OVOX, visit waves.com slash OVOX. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest tips, tricks, and more from Waves Audio. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching.